Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with a new Let's Play for uh, Third Age T Total War Reforged and uh, I am playing as the Realm of uh, Lothlorien. So uh, yeah, this is going to be a really uh, a really fun uh, campaign. I've already uh, like had a few little like practices on it, so I feel like I'm well prepared for it. Um, so yeah, th that is uh, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be exciting. I've uh, like had to turn off the music at the moment <laughs> because I got like do not want to get copyright strike because it is just a straight off uh, Lord of the Rings, so I cannot be having it in there. I probably will uh, sort out some alternative for it in uh, later episodes. Uh, stick something in there. Uh, find some um, some non copyrighted uh, <laughs> music that we can stick in. That so sounds very. Uh, that sounds fairly Lord of the Ringsy, but uh, until that time, we'll probably go without. I just thought uh, I've um, basically done this video a few times and just thought, well, we we just can't have that copyright music in there. So uh, let's uh, let's just not even run the risk. But first plans first. We're going to send a spy up here. We're going to go and take out a uh, forage drain, which is up here. I've uh, like scouted out so I know where most of the villages are now that we want to like be going for. So uh, and we get a mission pretty early on to take forage drain. So I'm going to be raising a few troops and raise two spear units here. Uh, going to construct a, uh, a Lothlorien garrison so we can build uh, some better troops, basically. Uh, get, like, s some ma sword masters and stuff going on. I'm going to get myself um, some roads over here to help with trade. And then we have a little village down here, which can get absolutely nothing at the moment, but we'll get some uh, buildings going on there soon. Actually, no, we can get a farm. We get some farmlands going. Why not? Uh, and then, yeah, we'll just gather up a bit of an army here. What? How much? We've got some more troops here. Let's send these guys over. As well, we've got a diplomat here. Uh, this guy we can send up. He can go and what speak to Prince Gloin. So we'll have that on. Uh, we'll offer some stuff. Accepted. Excellent. I actually didn't want. We don't have military acts like giving them any uh, stuff, but that's fine. And you can go up there. That was Barlin that we just ran into. So we just avoid them. And then that's a, a first bit of diplomacy done. And that's kind of the first turn done. I'm going to kind of speed run through these first few turns. Mainly for my own like sanity, having done this a few times, but also for uh, for your benefit. There we go, We've got some guy called Moratar, he can join. He's got some decent command and some decent loyalty, so you'll be okay. I'm going to have a Celeborn leading my armies, uh, or Celeborn leading my armies. He's uh, like the faction leader. We have Haldir over here, he's like on the uh, on the thumbnail. He's looking glorious as ever. He's getting ready to m march an army down south to go and help with Helm's Deep. I might actually do that if like Helm's Deep ever, like Rohan and Isengard are at war. And it looks like it's going badly for Rohan. I might start sending some armies down south to go and help fight Isengard. That'd be really cool. But uh, yeah, basically our objectives are pre pretty much just take um, like the realm of like Mirkwood, like a lot of Mirkwood. Uh, the game says we've got to take, and also to take uh, out Mordor. Mordor needs to be destroyed. So I guess they are our aims for this campaign. Obviously, the campaign, like how long it goes on for, it determines uh, obviously like how how much you guys enjoy it, uh, and also just like. How much I enjoy continue doing it. I, mean, I enjoy playing this mod quite a lot, so it shouldn't be an issue there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all we need to do actually. Just send that guy up there. This to this go, we don't really have anything we to do. Actually, I should have sent my diplomat somewhere, but that's not really the end of the world. Um, but yeah, so obviously, don't forget to leave a uh, don't forget leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment show your support if you would like to uh, see more of this campaign. Uh, I'm always ready to do more. Of this, I'm gonna send this guy up here. So I really want to find Imladris. I just send him like, there we go, Imladris, Buckleberry, Buckleberry. We've got to speak with our kin. Just rejected. Rude people. We are Elven kin. Not interested. So rude. Glorfindale here. Oh my gosh, these people are so rude. Right. Well, that is just unacceptable, Imladris. We're gonna to have to sort that out and. Uh, Get them on side. That is very rude. Every single other time I played this game, they've uh, they've loved it. They've loved the not opportunity to uh, be an ally. Not today though. Um, got four thousand in the bank. Uh, where's my yeah? There's my commander. I've been sending south. There you go. He can carry on down that way. We could build a watchtower for two hundred. Why not? We get a bit more uh, like vision, which is always useful. Uh, and I think next turn I'm going to start moving my army out. I'll probably move out all this. Keep these two guys sticking around. I'm going to go for forage drain next turn. Let's see, make sure that... Often the dwarves come and snipe it. I do not want them doing that. They have no armies nearby, so that's good. Uh, so that's excellent. I'm pretty sure it's got like nothing to worry about. Yeah, nothing too major. I'm going to end the turn, and we're going to see what happens. Um, there you go. See, Kaz are done. They're coming for it. They are excited. They've seen an opportunity. They're going to send their armies north. Uh, yeah, he's not got great loyalty or command. He is not being taken. Uh, I'm going to take... 
All of them, but maybe you, I think. I'll just leave the one behind. Yeah, they seem to be loving that. Uh, I don't know if he might be able to reach, actually. He can reach. Damn, okay. Well, we might actually not get Forward Drain before uh, the dwarves then. That is a shame. Uh, well, if that's the case, then we'll go. We'll go west. Uh, we'll go eastwards because I know there are st there is stuff over here that we can take, um, like down here. We can just let the dwarves have forward drain if they must. Um, oh, I didn't move the um, diplomat. Oh well. Um, Isengard wants to do something. They're trying to bribe my settlement or something. Oh, and orcs and misty mountains. What do you want? Just a bow, okay, fair enough. Um, <laughs> that's just, and there you go, the dwarves are going to take forward drain, you imagine. Oh, that's annoying, I should have gone the turn before. Um, are they just going to besiege it? I think they are. Interesting, there you go, they're taking it. Um, yeah, but there you go, gone. Done. Uh, yep, can marry to him or whoever that is. Um, the spy we can send down here, because this is a territory we might want to take out down here. This is a bit of a weak one as well. We will turn around, leave the dwarves with their uh, with the realm. Uh, let's see if the goblins want to do anything. Ceasefire? Very generous. Uh, I don't know if I really want to make a ceasefire with these guys, actually. Uh, so, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to just try and go back up here, find wherever um, the Madras is. Must be around here somewhere. This is just a valuable village. Okay. Uh, Fair enough. Go back this way. God damn it. Wasted so many uh, turns just moving around trying to find stuff. I should just leave them to it. It's like, well, if you don't want to... If you don't want an alliance, that's fine. Don't have an alliance. But, uh... Being rude about it. Let's build some roads anyway. Build some roads. We need some more money going. Uh, more money flowing into the coffers. And then we've got, uh... This guy here, Morothar. He's coming up. So we'll do stuff with him. End the turn. And then... We will... He's going to spy on us again? What's this guy doing? Trade rights. Yeah, sure. We'll have that. Um, I'm going to probably turn off the... Uh, I think we're just going to turn off effects. or turn them certainly lower because... I don't know. I'm a bit obviously a bit worried. Just uh, do not want to get too monetized just for... Tiny little noises of effects. I might just turn them uh, just turn them down. Sound options. Uh, main music speech. Yeah, special effects. Turn it down a bit. Just turn it like 50. Should be okay. Oh, no, we don't. Nah, that's fine. It's just special effects just doing that. If that's just... Oh, that's fine. If this happens, if I if this is demonetized, then so be it. So be it. But there we go. Dol Guldor is up there. We can see that. We'll go for those two next. Uh, we're going to need a fairly large army to take Dol Guldor out. So... We can start recruiting some blade masses. I'm going to do just that. Build a mine as well. A mine, they call it. Uh, Mordor annihilated. Numenor. After the destruction of the One Ring and the eruption of Mount Doom, the creatures of Mordor have finally been annihilated. If all... What? <laughs> They're already gone? <laughs> if all one very lucky creatures could escape, the will and there is hope that Sauron will never be materialized again and that Middle-earth will finally come to a more peaceful world. So is Sauron dead already? <laughs> just, just gone like that. Okay. Surely not. It was like in turn three or four. Six. We're in turn six and you're going to tell me that Sauron's already dead. I don't believe it. I'm going to go and investigate myself with the spy. Who is that there? We're in another territory here. I might just go and find Cardlin and Arthurdain because they're always friendly and want trade. Uh, even if, if even if other elves don't. Well, I wasted my time trying to find them. Rude. Rude people. Anyway, it didn't turn. Oh, yeah, you were supposed to go in there. Very well. Isengard is sending their, uh, their spy or their diplomat further north. Don't really care about them. But there he goes anyway. Going to go and deal with the dwarves. Probably tell them to uh, join our side. Not join join uh, Isengard's side. Dwarves are treacherous like that, you see. And now uh, we'll just uh, we'll just take uh, Anuk. However you say that, Aknod. However you say that, God knows. Uh, occupy the settlement. There we go. Avoid any more awkward pronunciations and let's just build some stuff. Best way to go. Linden's at war or no, allied with Rudar. And Rudar has declared a truce with Cardland. Okay. Money is taking a hit, but that's fine. We've just been building stuff. And there's a settlement over here somewhere. I'm pretty sure. That's a settlement anyway. 
Oh, there's just a vil valuable village. Okay, well, I'm just wandering around in the dark then. There we go. That's the sediment. Arthur Dane. There we go. I knew it was up here somewhere. Amal Sul. Balanced. Rejected. Uh, let's just change that to that then. This seems quite well. That seems there you go. Farewell. Arthur Dane and us have alliance and we have trade rights. We can't see where each other are, but that's fine. I'm going to send the spy up here. There's another settlement up here that we can take. And I might take that one before I go after Dolgo Do. There's no rush to go for Dolgo Do. There's another settlement down here we can take as well. So we could do with doing some expansion over there. So that'll be really good if we can do that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the plan. Can we build anything? No, but we could recruit some archers. So let's do that. We could always do more archers. There's a lot of trade going on on that, uh, on that road there by that diplomat. He's absolutely... Doing loads of stuff. Oh yeah, let's bring this guy into the realm. Uh, let's send you though back to Karas Gad Gadla Gadlahon. Gadlahon. Mission failed. I didn't realize I had this mission. Uh, fair enough. I apologize to absolutely nobody. Um, <laughs> a new land, Numenor Isle of Elena. Several hordes of the surviving creatures have have alas captured a settlement worthy of serving as the new capital. Though the remaining evil creatures are severely weakened, I've been careful that they don't have the chance to expand. It keeps saying Numenor and have the new land. So are we saying that Numenor are the evil people? I don't know. Maybe. Perhaps. Uh, I'm going to leave behind... Um, I don't know. I'm going to meet... Oh, they're already unhappy if I do that. I should actually leave this guy behind here. Leave him there, to be fair, actually. Uh, I will just let the rest of this army... Hmm. Take the, I'd like to take the archers. And there are more archers here that we are producing. Might send these ones up to go over here. How many more turns to those uh, blade masters? Another turn. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, let's see if we can find Cardlan now. Cardlan had got, had got to be down here somewhere. I keep hovering over my uh, like diplomat and keep thinking, oh, I found a place, but no, it's just it's just the name of the man. Uh, Carlin are gonna be around here somewhere. I mean, I'll get a mission. Actually, I think they're here. I think they might be here at this like crossroads of rivers, um, or at least someone is. I think Rudar, or maybe. It was a bit shame, a shame that I was so close but so far. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll get uh, like King Cel Celeborn. We'll go and regroup up here, and then I'm gonna go up take this settlement. Then I'm gonna march in Dol Guldur. Is the plan of attack anyway? So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, this is just some random merchant that just flew by. You sir, all oh, rioting. There you go. They're not happy. There you go. Send these chaps in. Put down the riots. Still not happy. Okay, well, that's an issue. <laughs> Put it like that. That is an issue. Um, Kelleborn, you can meet up here. Maybe I should probably have kept a few more troops behind. But it might it might die down in the next turn. It might die down in the next turn. Um, March Warden Post. I could do with maybe like a... Are we building anything here? We are building a um, mine. I forgot. Let's build a tavern so we can help with happiness. And uh, there we go. We got all these troops. And those elves aren't... Those elven archers can't join. That's fine. We uh, can just... No, nothing else can move anyway. So they can hold on. Those elven archers can chase up and carry. And... Uh, Catches up. Shame that everything takes so long to recruit. Because I could really do with building more stuff. But there you go. That's uh, the small downside of playing as the elves, I guess. And yeah, I think they're down here. Here we go. We have uh, Cardlan and we have Dunland here next to each other. This is Northern and Southern Tharbad. Just going to look at each other and just think, what's going on? Uh, rejected. That is rude of them. I'll just take your basic... Alliance and trade rights. We don't need to it's see what's going on in the world. Um, apparently, I can't reach. Nope, no, no, no. no. <laughs> God damn it. I guess I'll go this way then. We'll go and see Dunland. Go the long way around. Look how far I've got to go just to get from one side of Tharbad to the other. That's very inconvenient. Indeed. Uh, rioting. Yeah, I know about that. Path blocked. Recruitment. Okay. And end turn. Thank you very much. I am enjoying seeing a green across all the stuff. I'm flicking through stuff at the moment. I do apologize. Um, there you go. We've got a marriage. And more rioting. I guess I'll send some more troops back. Very well. We'll go back this way in a moment. Uh, actually, I'll do it now. 
Very inconvenient. I'll send these archers on. Follow. The, uh, how much money are we making? Uh, projected profits not enough is the answer. Build some roads. Roads to connect my empire. Uh, let's go back to Dogledore and just see what's around. Oh, they have trolls. They have a lot of stuff. Um, okay. I mean, we could definitely try and take that out. Uh, I also want to go and see what's further south. I think we. I might try and take that out at some point. Um, orc fodder. I mean, this is like cave trolls, mountain uruk host. Hey, that's going to be rough, but I think we could do it. I think we could do it. Um, I need to just... Well, I need to get more money. Uh, I need to go and move my chap over here. So we can go and trade with Tharbad. What is it you wish to discuss? Balance. This proposal is of little Let's interest. do trade then. Let's let's just do trade. How about that? Seems like a most farewell then. Yes, I agree. It just seemed like a good deal. Uh, I'm going to go down to Gondor. Um, because I think that's the next major area I could go for. Well, Dunland, I don't think I've seen yet. Or have I seen Dunland? I can't remember. I might have. Uh, I could go down to Gondor. Uh, it'd take a few turns. Take a whole mighty two or three turns. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Marriage celebrations, and end of turn report. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to send this army back to Celeborn's army back there. I could try and like let this place get a bit more con like under control and then I can uh, deal with it. It should... I think it's just because of... Um, uh, culture and stuff like that. I don't think it's very happy because of that. Send Rudar. Okay, I'll be rewarded with some stuff. Okay, so where flipping heck? I'm turning around my merchant, not my merchant, my diplomat. Let's see, where is he? Where did I send him? He's down here somewhere. There he is. Right. Go up here. I have five turns. I'll reach it perfect time. Uh, okay, fair enough. That is fine. We can do that. I could do with the I could do with the units, to be fair. And then if we just send in the the army here, that should yeah, it's calmed it down perfectly. They'll stop rioting. I can then move on soon enough. Um, I could do a ping a mark in for public order. Actually, I don't know why I went for roads first. I've also got very high tax rate here. I've just realised. Let's bring that down a high tax rate. That might help sort it out. Come on, come on, sort it out. Uh, what have we got here then? We've got military build. Okay. Uh, we're building roads, it should be okay. What we got here, 1400 and we're building, yep, stuff there still. You're not happy, I can't yet build your market. I will do that next turn. Are you on very high tax rate as well? You are, you, can I afford to, I can bring it down, but it's not rioting, so that's fine. Uh, the spy is going off somewhere else. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, he's gonna go and look for somewhere even further south for it, us to expand. We're very close to Mordor actually. Um, we're only one or two territories away. Like, if we just look, there's, uh, there's like a territory here, and then like, like Mordor's just here. Like, it's only one or two territories away. It's not, not that far. <sighs> Rudar and Hobbit folk are allies. Who would have seen that one coming? Certainly not me. Rudar's supposed to be over here somewhere. A Linden diplomat. All right, we'll work with that. Alliance. Just accepted, hey. Well, I can now see Linden. I don't have to go all the way over here. And they are apparently uh, Hungary. Are, uh, <laughs> they have the uh, faction flag of Hungary. And we've got a, a Rudolf uh, village here. So I'll just stay here for next turn. And I'll do stuff with that. Roads built. Excellent. Um, yes, I think I'm... What am I building? I'm building roads there. Yeah. Oh, yes. I need to build... I really need to build this here, actually, a market. I was going to build it over here. But I'm going to have to build it here first. Because we've got real public order problems. Get that arch unit in here. Um, and then I'm gonna, I don't know what this army I'll send out, because I could do actually recruit more units, but I can't. I can't afford any. Bit of an issue. Bit of an issue. And there you go, there's another place here, Forward Waith. Uh, that has a lot of men, actually. A lot of men. At least it has no trolls in it. No trolls, but it has men. And there's no elven, uh, culture here. That's the only issue. Uh, so I'm going to, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna look at culture here. Yeah, it's not great. It's, uh, at... 11% not good at all so I'll end the turn fly through in these turns we are a little bit I do uh, well I don't really I do apologize a bit but at the same time there's not a lot going on these early early things it's like not huge battles and stuff like that oh yeah I don't know if I move my yeah I did move my merchant uh, again not great command I want a little bit of good command and good loyalty stuff like that you gotta you gotta have a good very varied uh, palette I guess triodrites. I don't even want to really give you anything else. Possibly Just accepted. There we go. Right. 
Ruda, I've been ex got two blades of the woods. Excellent, right. They're in my capital. I can send these guys out to come and help over here as well. That'll take a load of turns. Look at that. Take forever. Take forever. Um, I could go that way. I could start recruiting stuff and sending it this way across. If I can get some troops. But that is uh, not going to be happening anytime soon. Not at all. Uh, relations worsen. Dwarves has a dumb. They hate me. Probably because... I don't know, actually. Nothing there says why. <laughs> there was no reasons as to why they could hate me on that piece of uh, paper that just appeared. Um, I'm going to go and look and see what's going on in Go uh, not Gondor and Mordor. Got nothing. Oh, there's another territory here. This one also could do with taking out. Yeah, we could work all the way down here, go through all these like dark lands. That'd be good. Um, and kind of just march straight on Gondor. Oh, not on Gondor. Why on Gondor? Why are we marching on Gondor? March on um, Mordor. That's what we need to be doing. Uh, my spy, there are... I mean, I could go see the Shire. Let's go do that. Find them over here somewhere. Pretty sure the Shire's like somewhere around here. Who's this? Rebel Town inhabitants. Inhabitants of Mirkwood. I don't think they are in Mirkwood, but yeah, okay. Fair enough, mod. Whatever you say. Isengard just keeps sending diplomats all the way around. I don't know what it's doing. But uh, let's have a look. Let's see. Let's see. Let, yeah, let's go and see what's going on in Mordor then. Mordor. There's another... Look how many villi like villages. There's mountain Uruk archers here. Yeah, there's so many villages and he's like taken out. I have got a bit of work on my hand. I mean, I won't get them all before Mordor gets some of them. Which is annoying. But uh, it happens. Got more archers here, like I said. Captain Arandorian. I thought it was building soldiers there, but maybe not. Uh, you need an upgrade... Let's give you, I could give you public order, or I could give you, what do we want? That one, I'm going to go for Lorien, March, Warden, Post, because at least I can then get stuff that's useful. I could have, or I could have actually saved, used, got that. Can I get the market here? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get the market. Construction complete. A tavern has been completed. Hostilities over. Excellent. Let's go and see if I can find... The hobbits. I think I'm a little bit too far north. No, I'm just actually I've got a little bit further west. I think to go. I'm just gonna go down here. Explore. Who knows? I will find them eventually. This is another territory here. So I mean, who, whoever says, oh, that's blue. So that'll be our today. So I might be just about to go into Hobbit like territory now. Go into the Shire. It actually, it's terrible. I cannot. When you haven't got all the map, like you can't see. Like there's no like. Boundaries, I guess. You can't tell where or who anyone is. It's a bit annoying, a bit frustrating. But there you go. We'll uh, end the turn again. Oh, we've got a uh, Gondor attacking Caleb, uh, Galebrin. Okay, fair enough. Well, there you go. Gondor's being expansionist. They're gonna take it, and they did. Yeah, well done them. And we need to send an emissary to the Hobbit folk. Well, that was what I was doing. I just couldn't find them. There you go. I found the Shire. It's an Aztec village, apparently. <laughs> oh, God. Please tell me they have Aztecs. No, they don't. Damn it. They have Emperor Beragon, though. And they have loads of Hobbits. <laughs> like that. An Aztec. Very well. You do you. Medieval 2. There you go. And we have done it. There we go. What have I got now? Been rewarded with 500 gold. Excellent. Right. Uh, let's bring this diplomat. Let's go south. Well, more like southwest. We need to come back this way. There's no one up there I really want to deal with, I don't think. I mean, the, are the dwarves of the Blue Mountains up here somewhere? Possibly. I don't really want to hunt for them. I'll let them come find me. Let's go this way. Let's go past Arthur Dane's village there. Don't care about them. Roads, faction announcements, okay. New mission, done that already. And yeah, okay. So yeah, we found found Condor. Uh, I might go, I can't really do much with that. There we go. We found, so they're not dead because the Witch King's still alive. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. They are probably still perfectly fine, our Mordor. I believe all those pop-ups were lies. 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna... S mm, how much of this army could I take out before it starts to get... It gets upset pretty early, pretty easily. Uh, let's take with these archers. That's as much as I dare to take at the moment. Uh, can I get away with one more? Yes, I could. Okay, I will leave it at that, and I will take these two swords with me. And actually, well, let's just move up here. Let's have you move to there. And then we go and take this one up here next, then we can go down for Dolgaldor, like the original plan. These guys should stop uh, being unhappy. It's very rude of them. And then here we go. Uh, we'll just just have a look and see what's going on. Send these troops up here. I, I don't know why I didn't wait for the other guys, but they, they can catch up. They can catch up. It doesn't matter. I can't build a watchtower. That's annoying. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's all I need to really worry about. Um, let's see. Let's see. What can we do? The spy? I can't go further into Mordor, which is very annoying. We'd have to go the whole way around. I mean, we could go down there and have a look. I mean, I'm not too bothered. I'll just go back up to the north. Might need to actually use the spy for more interesting stuff rather than actually just seeing who's invaded Mordor and who hasn't invaded Mordor. Um, you need to come all the way around here. Jeez, we've got to go such a long way to just get around Tharbad. Such a pain in the ass. Uh, this guy's moved already. I, that's kind of it. I'm like, I've got so little money, I can't really do anything. Uh, I'll build that Lorian March Warden I wanted to buy a, a little while ago. I don't really want to buy more troops. I could do with putting something in here. I'd like to get a port, actually. We can get a port going. Get some more trade in that way. End the turn. I actually think Gondor is going to try and take out Mordor with, like, those tiny little stacks, isn't it? Um, there we go. Well, look at you. We're doing that. We're going to be doing that very, very soon. Um, so, yeah, you should be able to reach, like, Rosgobel next turn. It's got, like, Bjornings and... Blackwalls, yeah, they'll be easy to kill. Easy to kill. No problem at all. Uh, and then, yeah, you just keep coming north. Just keep, keep keep coming and visiting some of the stuff that's up here. Just, that guy, that poor spy is just like, keep walking backwards and forwards. Like, where do they want me to go? Uh, let's go and see Gondor. That's a long way to go, but it's uh, a worthy trip. Get a lot of trade out of Gondor, hopefully. And then we could try and find Dol Amroth. And then... I don't know who after that. I don't know who else there is really that's friendly that we've not touched on. I guess we will have to come all the way back up here to Mirkwood. And see Erebor and Dale as well. Um, that's the only ones I can think that we have yet to uh, get in contact with. I guess Dol Winning as well. Another one that we could do with uh, talking to. Seeing whether they've got anything that uh, they want to offer us. I uh, don't know if they do. Can we reach? We can still reach. Excellent. That's what I hoped. Let's assault. I'm just going to uh, probably just sort of resolve this. There's no real need. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll do like a major battle when we're like... Well, I'll start showing battles off when we're like... We actually have a major one. Oh, wow. We've got a whole one loot from that. Uh, but we've got 1,500 gold in the bank. So that's okay. I could save up for... I mean, 2,700 we're going to make next turn, apparently. Don't know if I believe that. Um... Could go for a road. I just also at the same time I want to save up for my port. I'm gonna save up for the port. And we're in the green now. Everything's going green. It's what we like to see. Green, green. Let's bring that down here. Who have you been blocked by? Another rebel settlement. I swear most of these like most of the world is just covered with rebel settlements. Uh, so that is very annoying. <laughs> But it's fine. We can live with it. Um, we will then also just send you back north. I don't really mind about that. Uh, you can't do anything. Why are you on very high tax? This is an issue. Get on high tax. That's why you're unhappy. Get off high tax. A uh, very high tax. It's the issue. Don't know why it was. I could take in more troops now, but I can use them for the attack on Dol Guldur, I guess. Uh, but we're taking this place. Uh, I'm not doing anything there. I'm building a port. I don't even have enough. God damn it. Uh, Realm of Inladris and Merc would have an alliance. But of course, I can't get an alliance because they hate me. Uh, I guess I'll save one more turn for money then to get that port. I feel like it's going to get me a lot of money. Or I at least hope it does. Um, you're coming all the way down here. I can now reach... What is this? 
Isengard are here. What? Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure I've done stuff with Isengard already. Oh no, Isengard came to me. They were really far out, Isengard. They're very expensive. Oh, there we go. Serious. A proposition for Ua, Ua. I don't know how you say that, but let's just do all that. No, just rejected. Seems like no one wants to give me map information. Just because I want to see where everything, everywhere it is. And a pleasure. Farewell. There you go. Alliance announced and relations improved. Exactly. They'll love me by the end of this. Um, I already can see all the lands anyway. You've already started to invade Gon uh, Mordor, which is kind of unnerving and scary. Save some money and we will go for... Oh, sorry, Spy. Yes, we'll go for uh, we'll go for the port next turn, and then yeah, we I don't know where we go from there really. We just uh, probably go for uh, oh, you're quite good. Yeah, let's get you. Uh, I mean, I'll leave this chappy here actually for when we go south uh, to take out Dorgaldur. War declared. Dwarves and Dale are at war. Oh, what? <laughs> That's not very law abiding. They shouldn't be doing that. Um, and let's build a port. Build a port. It's gonna take seven turns. That's a lot of time. We've got to just spend doing other stuff. Um, I guess then I can send this army out a little bit. I'm going to send out... I want to take all my archers. I kind of want to take these bladesmen as well. Oh my gosh, that really damages... Like, What is it on? Oh, it's on very high tax. That's why. Get off high tax, man. Uh, you can't reach there. That was very bizarre. Okay, well, that's awkward. Uh, take all these archers, and I'll leave behind some of the spear, uh, some of the swords. Oh, you still like it if I leave that much? All right, then we'll take in that much. Um, there we go. I could recruit mercenaries, Lorinded Lor axemen. I don't know what they actually look like, but apparently they like something like that. Um, and then I'm gonna just send out this sword here. I mean, they should all be able to connect up next turn, hopefully, and then I could lay siege to Dolgaldor at least. Uh, I don't really want to assault it. I'm going to lay siege to it, I think, because it's a big fortress. So we'll end the turn, and we'll see what we can do. But I might make that the last turn, just us besieging Dol Guldur. Um We've got an alliance, or not an alliance, a, a, a marriage. Um, yes, yeah, so they should all be able to link up, I think. Yeah, easy. Um, let's just, you can just build like a load of these. And yeah, just maintain siege. You do it, go in there, and you come in there as well. There we go, that's a sizable army, and I mean, elves are pretty good. They probably should be able to take out most of those uh, orcs. So we can do that. I could have taken get some Lorind uh, stuff, but no, that's not happening. Uh, we're making very little money, but that's because I think our army is out. New mission. Uh, find Dol Amroth. Well, that was actually kind of my next, my next plan, so... Who is this? Gondor again. Well, just get out of my way. You're too big a realm. Uh, so there we go, all done there. And then my spy, I'm going to just get spy on this next place I'm going to take out. It's another village. There's a town down here. This is a rebel town. I could do with taking this. Really, I might skip it out and just go down here and take this one because it's going to give me more income. Uh, these are not giving me great income. Uh, so yeah, uh, that is what I'm going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Don't forget to leave a comment to let me know uh, of any like advice or like some stuff that you want me to uh, try and do in this campaign. And uh, yeah, until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.